For each equation, determine whether the equation shows y as a function of x. Recall that we had a definition that said a function is a relation that assigns to each element in its domain exactly one element in the range. And so we can think of this as saying each input goes to exactly one output. Now reading the statement here, determine whether the equation shows y as a function of x. What that means is we will take x as the input and we will take y as the output. So we look at the first equation, which shows that we have 3, uh, 3x plus y is equal to 14. Now I can rewrite that as y equals negative 3x plus 14, where I just subtracted 3x from both sides of the equation. So now what I see from this is each x, uh, to find the, the y value, if I'm given an x value, I multiply it by negative 3 and I add 14. So for example, if, if x was 5, then y would equal negative 3 times 5 plus 14. And we follow the order of operations and y would equal negative 1. And that's the only value that y could equal. There is no other possible value for y if x equals 5. And we could again, you know, we could choose another x value and we could do something similar. So whatever I choose for x, I get exactly one y value. This is a function. And let's look at the second exercise. Here we are told that y is equal to x cubed plus 5. So I have the y by itself already, and it's given by x cubed plus 5. So if I choose an x value, I would raise that x value to the third power and then add 5. So if x equals, say, 2, then the y value would be 2 cubed plus 5 which is 8 plus 5, which is 13. And there's no other possible value for y. That's the only possibility if x equals 2. And again, I could do something similar for different x values. So again, this is a function because th my input, 2, has only one possible output, 13. Let's look at this third exercise. Here I have x minus y squared equals 9. Uh, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to subtract 9 and add y squared. And I can rewrite this as x minus 9 is equal to y squared. So notice I've got that y squared here. And y squared is x minus 9. So this was a little different. Notice how if I choose a value for x, I still have to do some work to figure out the y value. Let's see an example. Suppose I let x equal, suppose say if x equals say 34. Well then 34 minus 9 would be y square. And so then y square would be 25. But there are two different numbers that I can square and get 25. So that means that y is, could be negative 5 or y could be positive 5. Because negative 5 squared is 25 and positive 5 squared is 25. So this, just by that one example, this is not a function.